Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today I'm extremely, extremely, extremely happy to be reviewing the brand new One Direction fragrance Between Us. So this fragrance is supposed to launch um, on August 5th here in the United States, but for some reason my local department store got this early. So, and they only actually got the gift set, so that's why I picked up the gift set early, just because I wanted to have it so bad. So got the gift set for this and this is their first fragrance after Zayn had left the band so this is just the four guys on the front now they've got the words between us down here and then on this side you've got like this little black ribbon so the box is pretty similar to this it's just more elongated on the whites and whatnot so in this set it came with the lotion the shower gel a roller ball and a hundred ml of the bottle so, the bottle this time is much more grown up. Everything about this fragrance is much more grown up than their previous ones. And the bottle looks like this. So, here's those kind of ribbons that we saw in the box. Um, they say One Direction on them, and it says One Direction, or it's between us, One Direction. The glass on this is extremely heavy. It's like, it's got a lot of weight to it. It almost kind of reminds me of how like thick and bulky the Rogue one was. The lid looks like this, and my only issue with this, and it's kind of got these like gradient lines on top. So my only issue with this one is this bottle itself like this feels very high class, very expensive. But they cut really down on this lid. Like the lid is kind of a cheap plastic almost. I would have been nice to see this as like a hard crystal instead of a um, plastic. So... This one, the top notes are Mandarin, Italian, Nutmeg, and Apricot. Middle notes are Freesia, Gardenia, and Jasmine. Base notes are Indonesian, Indonesian Patchouli, Vanilla, and Golden Amber. So straight off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys that this is a amber fragrance. This kind of reminds me quite a lot of j -Lux in a way, um, with that strong amber on it. So when you first spray it, I get some of the 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 kind of citrus to the top, but it's not anything really fruity. This is extremely extremely mature in comparison to their previous fragrances. Not saying that it's overly mature, but it is very mature compared to previous fragrances they've released. It quickly you get that nutmeg and kind of that spice. Um, the one thing I was kind of um, worried about what this fragrance came true and it does have a lot of patchouli in it but in a way the amber makes it okay with me so i don't hate this fragrance because of the patchouli in it but it doesn't make it my favorite one direction scent because of the extensive amount of patchouli but as it starts to dry down a little bit that amber really kicks in the amber almost kicks in from the start and it kind of overtakes the entire fragrance which isn't necessarily bad um, I feel this is more of like a fall winter time fragrance because it is that kind of warm with the amber in there. But this definitely isn't going to appeal to all of One Direction's fans. Um, if there are if there are the fans that are still in the like younger generation, under your twenties, I mean like fifteens, you're going this scent is not going to be something they're going to like because it is a little more mature. This is going to be more for. The people who have followed One Direction since they were 15 and now in their 20s or in their 25 and that kind of thing. And one little more mature of a scent, that's definitely what this is. I definitely feel like this is breaking out of the category for most celebrity fragrances. As it continues to dry down, that patchouli comes in with a little bit of a back to a vanilla. So it's almost like a vanilla patchouli, which is really weird. And it's almost just like an earthy patchouli or earthy vanilla, which I definitely do like. But I definitely, definitely, definitely want to strongly point out that this is an amber fragrance. Straight off the bat, amber 100%. I don't dislike this fragrance, but I do like it. Um, it's not my favorite One Direction scent. Um, I believe that moment is still my favorite One Direction fragrance. Um, it's going to be a lot to top that. The only thing that bothers me about this fragrance is it isn't as unique as I was kind of hoping it would be. With the things like the nutmeg and the amber and the mandarin and the stuff like that, I was really kind of hoping that this would be completely different and I was kind of hoping to get a little bit more of the apricot in it kind of like we did with uh, Taylor by Taylor but we can't all get what we hope for so I don't really pick up a whole lot of the florals in that and I kind of feel like it's because of the amber um, 
kind of, like I said, overtaking the whole entire fragrance. So, lasting power on this, I haven't worn it long enough to give a complete lasting power, but compared to other fragrances in this category that would be similar to it, I'm going to give it about a 6 to 8 hour lasting period, just because it kind of has that essence to it, and really warm amber fragrances are known to last a really long time. So, this is definitely going to be probably a scent that I wear going out, because it's definitely kind of that sophisticated nighttime scent, which I definitely do like. So, if this is the kind of direction that One Direction is going to go, I like their new One Direction. So, as always guys, thanks so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of One Direction's Between Us. As always guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A.S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stores Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always guys, thanks so, so, so much. Bye.